You know, February is heart month and today we bring you our latest game changer, a man always trying to make people better through his motivational speaking. Turns out he's trying to change the game by saving lives because he's lucky to be alive himself. For many years, Dr. Steven Soroka believed in the power of one, overcoming tough beginnings to become an accomplished chemist, health educator and motivational speaker. His message, one, one person can make a difference. I am not the power of one. You are. And that's my message today. But everything changed four years ago during a speech at Medina High School. I'm out there 2016 talking about how everyone can make a difference in their world. And in front of 800 people, I coded, <laughs> fell over, died. Steve had gone into sudden cardiac arrest, but he was lucky to be in the right place at the right time. School resource officers stepped in immediately. These two officers, they're on me within 30 seconds. The principal, Andy Brenner, was trained with AED two weeks before. Then a life flight to the Cleveland Clinic just 20 minutes away. I'm really lucky. I mean, um, you know, I died. Uh, I shouldn't be here. When do you realize what happened? Well, my whole life changed when I came back to reality. A reality that soon included another diagnosis, amyloidosis, a disease in which protein is deposited in the heart and causes it to malfunction. That was a rude awakening because, you know, I thought, okay, I had the big one. I, you know, I had like the cardiac arrest. I'm back stronger than ever. And then they're going, well, <clears throat> you know, you've got this disease. You got two years to live. The experience prompting a big change in his thinking. When I was on that helicopter, Dave, I realized I was never the power one. Everything I ever did, I was standing on people's shoulders. I always thought it was me. It was never me. His doctor suggested he join a clinical trial for a new drug called Tefamidus. This is really a game changer in the true sense. This is the first drug that's available to stop this fatal disease. This is a fatal disease, and this drug is slowing it down. And then um, in 2019, it was actually FDA approved. Four years later, Stephen is still going strong and starting a new drug that could potentially reverse the effects of his amyloidosis. And now he's spreading awareness about the disease along with a new message. You're the power one to start a fire, but you need the power of many to keep that fire burning. And if I can get that fire in people and we get other people trying to help, we can make a difference. That's why I go around the world trying to be a messenger of hope. We can make a difference, but I can't do it without you. That's right. He says it's all about not giving up. When he was young, he had to overcome a lot. He had a teacher that told him he had Down syndrome and he was beat up in high school very severely, along with other things that he overcame, Holly. And, you know, typically we always have the rapid fire, but it's not always so rapid with him. I mm. mean, he has so much to say. I spent a lot of time talking with him off the camera, but I asked him where's his favorite place he ever visited, Cleveland Clinic. Wow. So, I mean, think yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, you know, those little seeds are planted within all of us. You know, as children, we hear things and, and it's all about, you know, the power of your mind and he's using it to his full potential. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he Great really person. is. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much well, for thank that. You. Yeah. Thank him. No, I mean, there is a way to skip on over to the weather Let's wall go. right now. Yeah, we're all inspired. Thanks, Dave.